Hello everyone and welcome to Apple Autos. My name is Austin and just a couple of days ago we had our first batch of 2024 Ford F-150s roll off of the truck and hit our lots. Introducing the brand new 2024 Ford F-150 which just encountered a mid-cycle refresh. Today I'm going to give you a full tour on the 2024 F-150. We're going to go through what's new and what to look out for when you are purchasing one. Before I get into showing you guys the design changes, I wanted to give my take on what I think about the 24 F-150 over the 23. The new F-150, Ford has added a lot of new standard features to, which make it much, much, much more appealing to purchase a lower trim one and maybe do some personal modifications to it than purchasing a higher trim F-150. For example, the model that I am showing you guys today is an STX, which is one above the XL F-150. And as you can see here, this is a very, very good looking truck. And I don't know who Ford's wheel uh, designer team is, but they need a raise because those are some of the coolest factory wheels that I've ever seen on an F-150 in my life. Those things look absolutely amazing here on this STX. Now this STX is MSRP is right around $53,000 with the two seven and four wheel drive and the black appearance package on it. However, we already have it discounted off MSRP to around $50,000. So that's what you can expect to pay for a somewhat base F-150 here. And as you can see, this is a really good looking truck as it sits. However, we don't get leather until we move our way up to the Lariat, but you could throw yourself in some aftermarket leather like with our Cryptic Customs team. It's around 2,000, 2,500 bucks, and you can have yourself a full leather interior. And with that, you get the standard, which used to be Lariat only, full digital dashboard, the 12 and a half inch sync screen, all of that is now standard on the new F-150. On the previous years of F-150, we needed to get the XLT to get the big screen, and you needed the Lariat to get yourself leather and the full digital dashboard. Now, as we move our way up, we're getting more safety systems, as well as some other tech and stuff, like cooled seats or the panoramic sunroof, stuff like that as we move our way up. But it just makes it a lot more appealing to purchase a lower trim F-150 and throw some leather in it yourself, or, or do your own uh, wheels or lowering kit or lift kit, whatever you wanna do you can put more money into one of these now with how many more standard features there are on the new 24F150. So I think that's super cool that we get that huge screen standard because I think a lot of people wanted to pay more money just to get that screen. And now you can get yourself the basic, most base, base, base truck possible, steel wheels and all, and have yourself a full digital dash and a 12 inch screen. So I think that is a huge thing that Ford knocked it out of the park on making that standard. Now let's talk about the design changes. Right up front here, we have a slightly modified front end. Um, I'm a big fan of how much more aggressive it looks because we have, uh, as you can see, the headlights are more integrated into the grill now opposed to coming into the bumper a bit. So we have this large portion that's cut out in the grill. We have new white Ford logos. I'm a fan of those. They, they definitely pop a lot more compared to the blue, which was getting a little bit dated. So this white definitely pops a bit more, makes it look a little bit more modern. I am a big fan of that. On the higher trim F-150s, we also have some running light changes. I'll throw that up on the screen now. But here on the lower trim F-150s, I am just a huge fan of the way the front end of these look. I think they look a lot more expensive than the old low trims did, um, and they don't look nearly as cheap. We also have these really nice looking painted bumpers, and this gray color looks fantastic. They just knocked it out of the park, in my opinion, with this color combo and the wheels that are on this STX. I think this is just a lot of truck for the money. Let's move around to the side to see what's different. I also should mention as we move our way onto the side here, the motors that you can get in the F-150 are the 2.7, the 3.5, and the 5.0. Uh, I did make a quick post on TikTok, and there's a lot of people commenting that I had a four-cylinder. They do not offer a four-cylinder in the F-150. Both the 2.7 and the 3.5 are V6s, and the 5.0 is a V8. So just to be clear about that, there's no four-cylinder options available on the F-150. Granted, there are over on the Chevy side of things with the new Silverado, which I will have a video coming out soon talking about the four-cylinder Silverado. 
On the side of the F-150, there's not a whole lot of differences at all. I actually don't really notice any of them other than looking at the front and back end where you can see the corner of the new taillights and the corner of that new refreshed front end. And also, once again, a great, great visual view at those killer wheels. I mean, give that guy a raise. Look at those things. As you move around back, uh, they should change up kind of the depth of the Ford logo. It's not nearly as uh, 3D as it was in the previous model. And once again, the white just pops. It looks really, really good. Huge fan of these new Ford logos. And um, we do have an updated taillight housing as well. Looks really good here with the black appearance package. Some of the black on the inside of it. Much more aggressive looking than the previous year. Uh, and it adds a bit more dimension to the taillight. So big fan of those. They look pretty good. These uh, kind of darker gray 4x4 badges look quite good as well. Other than that, there's not a whole lot going on. Just a mid-cycle refresh. So uh, basically just front end, back end change and of course all that tech on the interior so let's head there now moving our way to the inside of the stx we do still have your standard key here on the S stx on the xl and the stx you do get your key as we move up to the s uh the xlt we have a uh, wireless keyless entry uh standard which gives us of course remote start now uh one other thing i want to mention because i don't think there's a lot of people that are familiar with this on all new ford products all of them for free for life, no subscriptions. You get the Ford Pass app, which includes remote start and lock and unlock from your phone. So for life, you get that for free. So even if you have this key, even if you have a, a, just a standard key, you know, you gotta unlock it, you can still connectively uh, control some of your vehicles uh, climate control or auto start from the Ford Pass app. Sorry, not climate control, but just the auto start unlock lock. You can control that from the Ford Pass app for free. So I just wanted to make that clear that even though you get this, you still have remote start just so people are aware. And the other thing cool about the Ford Pass app, you can even, even um, schedule start. So if you leave at the same time every day, Monday through Friday, have your truck nice and warm by the time you go out there, if it's parked outside, super easy, very slick and convenient. Let's go ahead and start up the new F-150 here where we get a visual view at that massive new digital dashboard and the 12 inch sync screen. Man, does it look cool. So much unbelievably good tech in a base model truck. Like it, it's just weird seeing that we have ourselves a uh, cruise control with lane centering and we have all of these screens in a base model F-150. It just feels so much more premium. It feels like a Lariat or an XLT of the previous generation. Um, but it's a base model, so it's really, really cool and well, well, well worth um, the wait uh, to get a new one because this is truly a game changer and it truly changes the way that you interact with the F-150. And Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on this screen, phenomenal, like phenomenal. You can use almost the entire screen or you can use the entire screen. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's super, super cool that we are getting this stuff in the base level of F-150. And we do have all of the same uh, like tech that we would have back in the Lariat too. So you can like look at off-road gauges and all your temp gauges and towing information. All of that stuff is standard through that screen, which you didn't even have in the other models before. So that is super cool. Four knocked it out of the park. Also new here on the STX are these seats with this like cool yellow stitching. We have a lot of yellow accents that are around here and these seats look really, really good for being an STX. Not only that, but they are very comfortable and very supportive along with the very comfortable ride quality that the F-150 has. Makes this a really great buy for a daily driver when it comes to comfort and overall sitting position. Really comfortable place to be. However, we do have manual seats here on the STX. Another thing I forgot to bring up is they minorly changed like the fog light housings down here on the bottom compared to the previous model. Other than that, there's uh, there's not a whole lot of changes. This mid-cycle refresh, more stuff standard and a minorly uh, updated front and rear end with some killer wheel options. Ford, good job. Love the new F-150. The high trims look insane. The new front end is killer. The new Raptor looks awesome. Ford nailed this thing. Good job. Let me know what you guys think of the new 24F150 down in the comments below. Hit like, hit subscribe, help us grow this channel here at Apple Auto so I can bring you more amazing content between all of our dealerships around here in Minnesota. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you next time.